Okay, this is the area that we're going to be turning around and bringing the Kinex. You can see we've put a pretty big area where we can drop the Kinex with the train or the crane and then uh, drag it right through this area. Mati, this is exactly the place that we set up last time. We looked all over the place for better places, but that was, that was the best one. Well, here it's the cabin hole. The cabin's over there. You can't quite see it. But there's absolutely no leaves. The water is a little bit higher than when we normally see it in the summer and fall, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same except no leaves and a little bit more snow on the mountains. There's looking south. Usually never see any snow up there. And this is the inside turn right around 266.5 uh, or so. This whole field here, as you remember, is all ferns. So uh, remember that. That is just totally dead right now. And here's that, here's the turn that's going right up to the bridge, looking north. As you can see, someone's out of hibernation. The water was a little bit higher and a little bit muddier yesterday. Right now it is slightly above what we normally see middle of the summer and fall. But it's still the Cowboy River. them in about two hours. Well that is all that's left of the beaver pond. You can see the wall there but uh, they blew it out apparently. Either the excavator or they dynamited it. Good thing we got the footage when we did a couple years ago. Well Monty here's a spot that we're never going to camp in again. Look at that. No knee-high grass. There's the shower. You can see right there right about the middle of the screen is our tile floor. Sad. But we're off to bigger and better things. Well, that's looking south at the spawning hole. As you can see, the water's a little bit wider than normal, but not much. Almost normal. Okay, here's going to be the layout for the uh, Connex and the travel trailer. You can see where we built a little bit of a path there with logs. The tracks sit right about out there. Uh, right, I'll come back to this, but you'll you might be able to see some stakes here. But I'm going to bring you all the way back. The farthest one out is going to be the travel trailer. You can see there's a tape between these two trees here. He would like to have the trailer hitch pointed um, in this case to the west. In other words, his window uh, looking out um, up to the mountain. So the trailer hitch will be closer to the tracks. And now let's go back to the place where we're going to have the connex. And what I did is I set this up so that there's three tapes on one side, and that shows that this side is the door. And we figure that they're going to be dragging it most likely kind of around this corner. So it's good, and that needs to be dragged door first anyway. And then you can see the other uh, the other two corners are right there. And then this again is the kind of path that we made. Uh, we were concerned, or the track master was a little bit concerned, that it was uh, a bit wet over here and spongy. So what we did is we made a, a mat out of a tremendous amount of small lumber, or uh, trees here. And there you see the tracks right over there. So there should be plenty of room. Uh, any of the stumps that are sticking up, we're gonna put uh, pretty good sized logs in front of them to help. Uh, not, not the excavator can get over everything, but just to make sure the conics doesn't get caught. We'll put some lumber over those. Quite, left quite a bit of space here, and then uh, there's the road in. 